1933 will go down in the history books as the year America passed the 21st Amendment to the Constitution. Prohibition is over. To the delight of millions, alcohol can now flow freely across this thirsty land. Two days before the official proclamation announcing this historic change, clubs and bars across the land are stocking up on quality whiskey. Even Jack Orlando, private detective and well-known smuggling foe, is drawn to the golden liquid. Jack, however, isn't sharing in the excitement accompanying the new law, for his life has become a monotonous journey, marked these days mostly by cheap whiskey and late nights in dive bars and run-down neighborhoods. Until one night. Wake up, buddy. We're closing. Ah, what's up? What's the matter? How come you always smell like cheap whiskey lately? Get your act together, man. Everyone's got problems. Wish it were that easy, my friend. But you know how it is. Man, you've really changed, Jack. You used to look good. Clean shirt, new shoes, and now... Everything changes, Stephen. Everything. What's happening to me? I used to be somebody in this town. Everyone knew my name. Today noon, can you describe the incident in a little more detail? Sure, later. Of course we're ready. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you back. That's for you, Tom. Good work, Jack. Damn good work. I can finally take this stupid most wanted poster off my wall. And you, buddy, got a nice long vacation ahead of you, courtesy of the county. Take him away, Benson. Right away, Inspector. Come on, let's go. As the mayor of this city, I have the unique honor to have, standing next to me, Jack Thomas Orlando, and to thank him for his service as a good citizen of our fine city. In the name of the entire city council, I hereby present you with this long hope, a worthy companion for a man like Jack Orlando. I'm touched. Today's a special day for me. My fellow citizens, don't worry. I'll keep serving this city as best I can. You can count on me. All I got left are memories and morning hangovers. Steve's right, I gotta get my act together. Too bad you want to quit. We were expecting a lot from you. Just don't forget to keep your mouth shut. Don't forget your money. Dead. 
Stay here, please. Nothing will happen to you. Stop. Don't move. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Who have we got here? Major Pete Reynolds. United States Army. Hmm, this is a heavy one. You don't think I killed him? Sure, you can explain it all at the precinct. Why the precinct? I am innocent. Yeah, yeah, they're all innocent. You got a problem with that? We don't have to take this. Let's book him. I'll take him to the precinct. He can think about good manners there. Get in. We'll have enough time now to do some thinking. Hey, I need to speak to the inspector now. Orlando, nice to see a familiar face. What you do this time, Bernardo? Nothing. And you? I just don't know. And I'm supposed to believe that? You gotta believe it. But did you always know why your face was taking a beating? Not always. But at least I always knew who was doing the beating. And I know even less. What can you tell me about the murder? What murder do you mean? Cut the crap. Do you or don't you know anything? Maybe, maybe not. Bernardo, stop being childish. I know nothing, Jack. That's all I know. Any problems otherwise? Should my one-time best informer be in the shit? Only a little temporary difficulty. So you'll be in for a year again. Haha, <laughs> Orlando. I'll be out of here in an hour at the latest. And in another four hours, at the latest, you'll be back in. How? Orlando, if I was you, I'd be thinking how to get out of here myself. Peace, my friend. In your job, you should avoid excitement. The cops don't like you very much either, and there ain't nobody gonna be whispering in your ear. You gotta stay on the ball. Listen, Bernardo, the name Pete Reynolds mean anything to you? Maybe, maybe not. Bernardo, stop being childish. I know nothing, Jack. That's all I know. crazy Orlando what was that for start talking while you still can what do you want who killed Reynolds spit it out I don't know I only heard that Scaletti had something to do with it who is this Scaletti and tell me everything you know Don Scaletti he's too big for you Orlando he's the boss of all the organized crime in the city guns gambling Everything that makes money. I hope you're not hiding anything from me or I'll be back to feed you to the fishes. Believe me, Orlando, I don't know anymore. I never lie to you.
I could do something good with that. Orlando, the inspector's waiting. Don't get any smart ideas. The inspector's already in a bad mood. Jack, I'm waiting for an explanation. What's happened? We lost weight, Tom. Weight Watchers? Shut up, Orlando. You're up to your ears and shit and still talking crap. Are you aware of your situation or have your brain finally turned to jelly? Okay, take it easy. How's my situation look? You've landed right in the shit again. God knows where the beginning and the end are. You read that in the Bible. But be serious, Tom. Give me time and I'll solve this one. We'll both benefit by that. Especially you, Jack. At this moment, you're the only suspect. Great. Tom, believe me, that's the best news I've had since my goldfish died. We gotta do something. Maybe we'll find an expert in the yellow pages. Very funny, Orlando. Just be happy you're not a baker or you'd be sitting in jail right now. Sure, Tom. Then let me find out the truth. Why do you think we're here? You've got two days, 48 hours to catch the real killer. Do that and you help us both, otherwise we're both in the shit. I know how long two days are. I've been counting since kindergarten. Then you better count on yourself, Jack. Johnson, take off his cuffs and show him the way. And Jack, do me one more favor. Go and clean yourself up before you do anything else, okay? door to my apartment. This is the door to Alice's apartment. A brush goes with the bucket. Just a bucket. Bad idea. This damn door is locked. Where the hell did I put my keys? I hope the key's still under the mat. You look like a steamroller ran over you. Is it that bad? I've never seen you like this. For the first time in my life, I'm really in trouble. I can see that. But I'm optimistic. Come on, I'll make us a coffee, Mr. Optimist. But go see to yourself first.
Wonder if anybody called. I gotta remember to change that light bulb. This commendation reminds me of better days gone by. When did I pour this last? You took your time about it. I'm not disturbing your Dustin? No, I was just going to start, but I couldn't find my stupid duster. Maybe I can help. Oh, if you only had a duster. I just don't know where I've put mine. Oh, thank you, Jack. Do you have a spoon? I will make fresh coffee immediately after dusting. A nice little cat, but I prefer dogs. My Zeppelin, always reliable. I haven't been in this alley since way back. These trash cans are really stinking. Wonder if this apple tasted good. This old car could be interesting.
traces of a police investigation. Yesterday's edition of Today News. You can only buy these Davidoff cigars at Charles's. This ladder goes up to the roof. That's too high for me. This'll ruin Alice's broom. She'd never forgive me. prided myself as being good with animals. But Napoleon is a very special horse. You can't compare him with other animals. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, horses are faithful friends. You just have to understand them. Tell me, have you seen or heard anything unusual recently? No, quite honestly, I wouldn't want to see or hear anything either. I mind my own business. something man great day huh watch it don't come to a sudden end what are you getting so worked up for I only wanted to borrow the crank and handle what you say are you deaf that does it asshole I'm gonna give you my answer right now Now? Thank you. 
matches from Knight Granis. Interesting. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a hot clue. And? You find anything? Nothing yet. I did. Let's hear it. Your car keys. You must have lost them here. Oh, great. You can at least thank me politely. Give me back my crank and handle. No problem, I don't need it no more. I'll show you, asshole. These boxing gloves are really bad. Let's see how you do that with nothing. If I see you here again, I'll beat the crap out of you. Shit. All this over an old crank and handle. I'll think of something better next time. Do you want roses or tulips? I'm not here to buy flowers. I don't sell anything else. Did you notice anything unusual? I'm sorry. I haven't seen anything unusual. I sell my flowers or read books all day long. What kind of books do you read? Oh, different things. Poetry, novels, short stories, but I often have to exchange my books for things that I need in life. These are hard times. We had more money in the days when my husband was alive. You know, gentlemen don't buy flowers nowadays like they used to. Yeah, everything was better in the old days. A lot better. You're all over the place, Orlando. I didn't catch your name. I didn't introduce myself, and I don't mean to. Too bad. I don't talk to people I don't know. Pity. You could have found out some interesting things. Such as? You don't speak to people you don't know. You had your chance, Orlando. Easy, Orlando. What's it all about? Good question, asshole. Either you start talking or I'll give you your teeth on a plate. Take it easy, my friend. Yeah, you should make sure I keep taking it easy. Don't excite me, otherwise I'll really get upset. Okay, I get it. What do you want to know? Not an awful lot. 
Tell me, where can I find a casino? I've never heard of a casino. Watch it. I'm getting excited. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Well? I heard that the casino is behind the restaurant. That's the place across the street from Night of Ranis. You heard? Believe me, I've never been in it. Honest. What else? What the, What else? What else should I know, asshole? You need a special invite or something. Just to get in there. Where do I get an invitation? I really don't know, Alan. I now go to hell. How the world changes. Even the men do their laundry themselves nowadays. I'm here about something else. Oh? And what would that be? Um, I'm meeting someone here. In a Chinese laundry? Why not? There are some strange folks going around. eyes behold. How's business? Just like it always is in a shop. It doesn't rain gold, just enough to get by. We gotta talk. Tell me, what's it all about? Who bought Davidoff cigars last at your place? Only a few regular customers buy these expensive cigars, but none of them have been in for a while. No new customers? Somebody you don't know? Wait, wait. There was someone. Tall, middle thirties, with an unusual walking cane. Like always, you're irreplaceable. I like helping you. Do you need anything else? To tell the truth, I don't have much money. The shop wasn't so good today, but I can still manage five dollars. I hope that will help. Thanks, Charles. Sir. Where can I get a map of the city? I don't know, sir. But try reception. Maybe they have one.
How can I help you, sir? Can a guy get his laundry done in this hotel? Yes, of course, but it's expensive. Better try the Chinese laundry. I see. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Anything else I can do for you, sir? Come on, honest. Is this really a top-class hotel? Best hotel in town, sir. It costs a lot, I suppose. Well, sir, service, quality, and nice atmosphere all cost that little bit more. Thank you, sir. A recent edition. Have you already read it, sir? To be honest, no, I'm not interested in the gossips in the newspaper. Sure, the most things are uninteresting. Political disputes, horoscopes, bad advertisements of new open laundry... Laundries? Yes, sir. I recently read something about a new open Chinese laundry in the city. I don't know anything about a Chinese laundry. It's true, sir. It's a place not far from here. Thanks for the information. I think I should read the newspaper more often. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. We're not allowed to smoke on the job, but sometimes I go to a bar after work. Which one? There's lots of bars in this city. I prefer the small talk. Comfortable, not far from here. Nice atmosphere and good music. The right choice after a hard work day. Money makes the world go round, my friend. You're just too friendly with your customers. That's got damn all to do with you. Yeah, it has. I'm a customer, too. You're a detective, Orlando. A boozy private dick. How come you know me? You got my brother locked up because of whiskey smuggling. And now you're drinking yourself to death. Everything changes. Everything. And everything can change quickly, not in your favor. What are you trying to say? You probably spoke to somebody already who wanted to warn you about your mistakes. Come on, say what you're gonna say. You're dumber than I thought. Listen. I got a few influential friends who'll still help me in times of need. You used to have, Orlando. You used to have. But you can't count on nobody no more. There's always the police. <laughs> That's a rich one. <laughs> what now? You're all alone and the hunt's begun. and buy yourself a beer. Can you see I'm busy? Do you drink a lot? Nope. Anyway, 
What's it to do with you? Oh, it's you again, young man. Oh my, what a nice vase. Is that for me? I hope you like it. A beautiful vase. I've got a gift for you, too. You've got to be joking. What is it? An old Chinese manuscript. That's a surprise. How'd you know I like Chinese things? I didn't know. Then you really got it right. Thanks. Buy something with some information. Information for information blend. I don't get it. When you understand, you'll come again. Oh, thank you. My wife will be very happy to have fun like this. How much you want? Just tell me what you know. Man from Night of Blood is strong. But he know what happen, you must speak with him. Careful he not get angry. When he angry, he always hitting. He also no money. You give money, he rip you in. But you know how to give him money. I know other way. Do you know anything else? You Detective Orlando, you know what you're doing. Thank you. This manuscript very interesting and very precious. I give you book of wisdom. Use it carefully and do not underestimate its power. I want to try. You had chance. Now I'm working. Where can I take you to? 
I don't want to go anywhere. Strange times. Nobody wants to take a cab anymore. Then you won't have to get your car repaired as often. That's no argument. My mechanic always does repair jobs for a bottle of whiskey. Your mechanic? Yeah, Frank's the born mechanic. He treats a car better than he treats a woman. Good evening, where to? I have a car of my own. How many miles on the clock? 20,000 miles or so. It'll last a while yet. Really? Believe me, I know all about it. My best pal's a mechanic. Well, well. Frank, that's his name, is a born mechanic. Give me his address. That's easy to find. It's in the south part of town. Five minutes from the Cotton Club. Maybe we could have a good time together? Sounds good. But I got more important things to do right now. Yeah, I thought so. Why don't you go in instead of standing here? I just came out. I see. You don't see anything. Why so sad? I had an argument with my friend. He's sitting in there having a good time with some whore. I'm sorry. I don't need your pity. You can stick it in a dark place. You looking for something? Nothing from you. I just want to go in there. You're out of luck, pal. Club's fool. It means a lot to me. If it means that much, you then try harder. You're not as dumb as you look. I see you have a fine company, baby. It could be true. What's your name, babe? Three dollars, baby. Isn't quite what it seems. Hey, nice name. Five dollars doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, please, I'm sure. Have you seen a suspicious-looking guy recently? No, I have not. That makes me really happy. Just one simple question. I'm all ears. You pay, I listen. I'm looking for a guy who's new around here. Looks good. Well dressed, smokes Davidoff cigar. You're really in luck, sweetie. I saw a guy smoking that stinking stuff. Keep talking. I'm glad you're happy. And what else do you know? I heard he's staying at the Paradise. His name's Bellinger. August Bellinger. Good girl. Buy yourself some candy. I love candy. Bye, sweetie. I love you. My eyes and think of you caught up in a world so blue. How am I gonna make you see what you need to do?
hoping so it could be true. Am I living? Good evening to you, sir. How can I help you? Which is August Bellinger's room? Room 101, sir. Could I have the key, please? I'm his brother. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have my master key today. I see. Maybe the cleaning lady's got a key. I think she's gone already. But she's not allowed to give her key to anyone either. Looks like somebody forgot their spare key. Looks awful like Bellinger's case. Now I'm quite sure what this guy does. Other people's notebooks seem to have an effect on me. I don't believe my eyes. Orlando! Jack Orlando! Remember me? How's the liver, Cooper? Longing for a holiday. We could all do with a holiday. What's new in the world of well-known city detectives? A hell of a lot's new. Yeah, Orlando. Problems have always been yours. Especially. It's slowly starting to be heavy going. Want a drink? Thanks, Cooper, but duty calls. Suit yourself, but the whiskey is good. If you get a little thirsty, go by the old distillery. Thanks for the tip. I really gotta go, Jerry. Hey, come by another time. It's good to talk to an old pal. the door to this dump.
window. Looks onto the backyard. No good for poker anymore. This wall could be doing with a coat of paint. Just looking around. Do that somewhere else. I don't think you understand yet who you're dealing with. Who cares? Let me sleep, crud. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy to punch in the face. And I just found him. Tough guy, huh? Don't I look like it? More like a piece of shit. Okay, you... Torch burns and brightens the whole room. The only statuary with a female figure. Beautiful statues. They seem to be part of an abbey. Wonder how old they are. Beautiful statues. They seem to be part of an abbey. Wonder how old they are. A prototype of a bathroom. A statue of an alchemist. He seems to guard this place. A strange stone standing out. A fresco. It seems to be part of this abbey. George brightens the room. Looks like an altarpiece. Books on history. Who cares? Looks like the previous model of the table in Charles's shop. Every bookshelf is filled. 
a sphinx, an Egyptian statue in America. In these rooms we meet cultural relics of all parts of this world. A secret door. Old libraries, secret doors. Where the hell am I now? Strange, every bookshelf is filled except this one. Get out now. What's that? A mutant bat or a gothic statue of a dragon? Old books. A skull. Creepy. I could do something good with that. That's the way the world works. What does this sign mean? Certainly, it was an honorable death. A gate. A big barrel with a nozzle, probably filled with wine. Unfortunately, I don't have the time. A basket with rotten vegetables. A lot of little barrels, clean and orderly arranged. I think this bottle will last a week.
Don't have time right now, but the drinks here are damn good. That guy looks suspicious. Hi. Sit down. What's new? Everything's nice and quiet. Just that private detective keeps poking his nose into things that he'd be better off staying out of. We're gonna take care of him soon, huh? The boss knows best how to deal with him. Of course. But if there's any problems, I'd be glad to offer my services. We'll keep you in mind, but let's get the last part of this matter settled. Sure. I suggest we look for somewhere quieter. I agree with that. I like this place. No one will disturb us here. Yeah, we can do our business here undisturbed. Don Scaletti sends his greetings. He's happy that everything went so smoothly. I'm happy to hear that. It's just that other guy. Don't get any gray hairs about him. We'll take care of him. Wait a minute, I'll just count the money. I just can't wait, dear sir. You thought you were pretty clever, pal. Wrong. These assholes are trying to take me for a ride. The bag's empty. You're here at last. Please, sit down. Should we have a drink? No thanks. Not now. Let's deal with business first. Okay. I've reserved a table in the Cotton Club. I see no reason to leave this place. I don't like the company. See the guy at that table over there? That's a cop. Cotton Club's safer. That's a very convincing reason. Let's go. Do we still have far to go, Smith? No, we'll soon be there. I take it you have the whole amount with you? Down to the last cent. Excellent. I like everything to run smoothly. Why did you shoot him? What the hell are you talking about? I didn't shoot anybody. It was you. I saw you firing. Thanks God. There is the police. Gentlemen, I saw that man there shooting. Orlando, I see you're in trouble again. Just an unfortunate coincidence again, my friends. Don't believe him. I saw him firing. It was him. Would you stop insisting on this nonsense? <laughs> 
No, no, just calm down there. Okay, okay, but I can't stand it when somebody talks a whole lot of crap. I think we'll be taking a statement from the gentleman now. What do you think, Stephen? Of course. We'll do it right now, before the inspector gets here. Take this witness into the cotton club, and this time take down everything he says. Come with me, please, and tell me exactly what happened. Hey, maybe I've got something to say about this, too. To be sure, to be sure, Mr. Orlando. Not only in this business, but the one from this morning, too. A lot of things are going to have to be explained. I was just getting to the bottom of things, and I guess someone didn't like that. I don't know what you're trying to say. He won't be killing anybody again. He was murdered by his boss, the guy who gave him his orders. He killed Reynolds last night. His name is August Bellinger. Very clever. It's just too bad I can't ask him. At least not in this life. Yeah, it is too bad. I had a lot of questions to ask him. Hmm, not bad, Orlando. Not bad at all. I wouldn't have thought you capable of it. What the hell do you mean by that? Oh, I'm just thinking out loud. You'll surely be having a conversation with the inspector in great detail. He's already on his way here. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, Mr. Orlando. Wait here for the inspector, and I'll see that the coroner gets here. Sure. I'd like to speak to Tom. I can imagine. Wait here. He'll be here any minute. This old truck still uses a crank for the ignition. What are you doing here? You're the boss here? Yeah? What about? I need a bottle of whiskey. Well, you come to the wrong place. This here is a distillery, not a grocery store. You looking for something? I want to buy a bottle of whiskey. Well, you come to the wrong place. This here is a distillery, not a grocery store. Are you gonna give me a drink or not? You still got something to drink. Hey, a man's gotta think of the future. <laughs> 
Yeah, people only think of themselves. Help a guy in need. I already told you I'm broke, didn't I? Your kind's the worst. Expensive coats, smart shoes. You probably got a great watch, and still you tell me you're broke. Workshop entrance. Entrance to the workshop. I suppose that's the door to the office. Look at that car. Somebody tried to improve the ventilation. To be honest, it used to look a lot better than that. Is that yours? Yeah, sorry. Hey, no problem. I'll fix that. I got no doubts about your skills, just about my wallet. Ah, no problem. Everybody thinks too much about money. When can I pick up the car? It should be ready for tomorrow about noon. I need it pretty badly. Okay, I'll fix it in a couple of hours. Please go right on it. The casino's expecting you.
You're just a little too late. No, no. I don't want to play. I'm looking for Don Scaletti. Don Scaletti will see you only if you have a previous appointment. And do I get an appointment? Oh, I don't know. But try his bodyguard. He'll know. We'll be starting a new game soon. I must admit, the service here is very nice. Thanks, but you still have to wait till this game's over. And I must admit, I find you very attractive. Please don't. You're embarrassing me. Why? We might just have a chance to be happy together. I can't. My friend's sitting there at the door and he's terribly jealous. That's a real good argument. Don't be too sad. I can imagine you sweep the women off their feet. What a beautiful coat. Take it easy. I only wanted to ask you something. Don't strain yourself. I'm looking for the owner of this casino. I don't know where Mr. Scaletti is, but ask James, the guy at the door. I don't know you. No member? I wanted to talk to the owner about membership. Don Scaletti's not here. Maybe tomorrow. What a beautiful coat. Take it easy. I only wanted to ask you something. Don't strain yourself. I'm I don't know where Mr. Scaletti is, but ask James, the guy at the door. You some kind of weirdo? What's the problem? I was just gonna ask you the same question. What are you doing here? I'm new here. Just want to get to know everybody. You're gonna get to know everything. Let's go. Boss, this guy was going all around the casino asking about it. I don't remember inviting you to dinner. What kind of a guy are you? Private detective. That's right. I got his ID card and his gun. His name's Orlando. That changes everything. Why are you here? I'm doing an investigation, and I wanted to check out this casino. Ah, uh, this casino. But nobody invited you. Your people did, in a kind of way. I found the ticket in a certain Mr. Bellinger's car. That's a nonsense. Bellinger has an appointment with me tomorrow morning. He had an appointment, you mean? Bellinger got shot today, with a few rounds out of a machine gun in front of the Cotton Club. Oh my god, August! That can't be true! Women are so emotional. So, my dear Scaletti, all roads lead to Rome. Ah, Roma. My city, the fountains. To put it bluntly, all roads lead to you. I heard some things about your stunts, Orlando. And I gotta say, you got a good nose. What can I say? You're a clever guy, Orlando. Too bad you know too much. You understand. Yeah. I've still a lot to learn about life. You had your chance to learn. Boss, you gotta be at the docks in a half hour. You know, the deal with Major- Shit, I forgot this bum was here. I'm sorry, boss. I haven't forgotten it. And you don't have to worry about him, either. He's gone on a trip. 
and they want to become an abek. Please look through the stuff first, boss. I said I know about it. What should I do with it? I think about it when we get back from the docks. Unless uh, our pal here has anything else interesting to tell us. You know it all already. Not yet, but we'll find out. Marco. Yeah, boss? Lock a friend up. But move it. We're late. Okay, boss. This is for you, you rat. Shit. How do I get out of here? The door's too solid. I can't get out the window. Shit. Can see nothing in here. What do you want from me? A game of chess? Psst. It's me. What do you want? I want to help you. Why, all of a sudden? I have my reasons. Tell me everything about August. Why that? Tell me what happened. I don't know how this concerns you. August, I loved him. We wanted to get married. August? Oh, Bellinger. Well, we were walking down the street to my car. A blue car comes out of nowhere. The window goes down, and somebody empties a whole magazine at us. I pulled out my gun and fired. Bellinger went down. He must have had five bullets in him. That was my uncle. He couldn't stand August. And he knew we wanted to get married. I'm sorry. I brought you something that'll help you get out of here. You must get away from here, otherwise he'll kill you. You gotta get away too, cause when they find me gone, they're gonna suspect you damn quick. I don't care. I don't care about anything anymore. Don't say that. Go to my apartment. You'll be safe there. But I... No buts. Reginald Avenue 12. Stay there. What's your name, anyway? Elizabeth. Very pretty, Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, the key's under the doormat. Okay. Do you remember the address? Yes. Then go. And thanks, Elizabeth. Comfortable chair. It would have to be like that for Scaletti to sit his fat ass in it. This safe looks solid. Too solid. Just a little too short. Scaletti will have to find himself a new clown now.
the lock looks solid enough. Joe's back. Good. Let's call it quits for today. I'll leave through the front way. We have to get a shipment for Edna and son ready tomorrow. I'll be on time tomorrow. Will do, boss. This whiskey best with soda. On the rocks. Can I get you a glass? Sorry. I got a pass. I got something important to take care of. All right. Maybe some other time. Where are the keys? Sorry, I forgot. The keys are in the glove compartment. Goodbye.
West Harbor. Very funny, as if we had another harbor here. Hey, mate, you looking for trouble or what? What are you mad about? Mad? A shithead here is mad. Drink something. You don't think I know that already? You can't get any credit in this joint. What are you doing here? You don't look like a sailor. Don't ask stupid questions. Just pour me a beer. All right, I'll pour you your beer. Hi, ah, you're singing a different song now. Don't sing. Just pour. Coming right up. You're all right, mate. It's just a beer. For you, it's just a beer. But for me, it's manna from heaven. What do you want, sailor? My liver needs a drink badly. And who are you that you want to drink with me? I think I heard Rum. Rum's my best friend. But I don't know you, you see. Now I understand everything. You know how it is. Sure. Then sell me this bottle and buy yourself a new one. No, the bottle's not for sale. Now go. This blabber is making me tired. What is that supposed to mean? That's exactly what I said. Damn, the door's stuck. 
I don't think an Olympic weightlifter could get this thing open. Greece could be useful. Problem. I want to eat fish. We are, after all, in a harbor. Too bad. We're closed. But you're... No buts. We're closed, and that's final. You're not exactly the friendly type, eh? None of your damn business. I could do something good with that.
I'm not so sure how strong this board is. Somebody out here. Why are you suddenly so pale? <laughs> it's the smell. You stink. Such a big guy. Where am I going to get such a big box? Don't just stand there. Shake the lead out. What's wrong? Break out of your chains. Shut your mouth. I'll make Vince me out to ya. You're a real bunch of tough guys, eh? Real smart guy, eh, asshole? Come on, get it out. You got ten seconds. We'll get it ourselves. Not so loud! This guy on the fish away. Sorry, buddy. I didn't see you were fishing. Of course. A three foot long fishing pole is easy to miss. Whatever you say. I need a few yards of rope. I have a rope. But I need it myself. Okay. Then lend me it. You'll get it back in a couple of hours. That's right. But it won't get you anywhere. I need the rope myself. Oh, I see. You're one of those guys who's always got an ace up his sleeve. I do what I can. In that case, the rope's yours. Thanks. Enjoy the fishing.
ladder leads upstairs. I gotta admit the Major, it's a pleasure doing the business with you. I'm very glad you're happy with our cooperation. The next delivery should be even the bigger, so my customers will be happier than they are now. I'll do my very best. I'm quite sure I can deliver more, but I can't make any promises. I'll be counting on you. And don't forget the new machine guns. But of course, a deal is a deal. It should run like clockwork. Just as long as nobody gets in our way. Speaking of a getting in the way, what's happening with the police? I've taken care of all the critical matters. Don't tell me, we made a new friend. Well put. Yes, sir, Tom Rogers. The inspector is at your service. How do you manage that? He's the cleanest cop in the town. He won't even accept a bucket chocolate. Well, let's just say he doesn't go quite as rigorously by the book these days. Besides, I didn't offer him any chocolates. I substantially raised his income. Hmm. Gotta say, you're doing some good work in it. Tom Rogers, or the believe. There's just one problem I couldn't take care of. Yeah? And what would that be? Some detective is on our trail, but I don't know who it is. You underestimated me, Major. The detective's name is Jack Orlando, and I have him locked up in the basement. When I get the back, I'm gonna make sure that he never bothers us again. You are one dangerous man, Scaletti. I sure am glad I'm on your side. Let's keep it that way. Now, back at the business. Of course. Now we get to do the most important part. The money's in the bag, like we agreed. Good. Another five grand for my retirement. Five and a half grand. Keep the 500 to our friend, Rogers. That's perfect timing. I'm meeting Rogers tomorrow morning at the station house. Then he'll get his first reward for dual loyalty. Good. Then everything's taken care of. I want to invite you and your wife to dinner. Saturday at my place. Where the Sompa thinks to celebrate. It would be an honor. Good. See you on a Saturday. What the hell's going on over there? Joe! Let's take a look. He'll get a headache, that's for sure.
this axe could help me get out of here. Gotta find a way to get this door open, otherwise I'll never get out of here. Doesn't match my cult. I imagine this could come in useful later. It's well for a suit off the rack. Damn it, the door is closed and I forgot my clothes. I've got to find another way to get in there before someone finds my stuff. Hungry again? You just ate breakfast. I just wanted to ask what's for lunch. We've got chicken soup and steaks on the menu. I really like steaks. I'm so glad it suits your taste. So, what do you think of my food anyway?
fantastic. That's good to hear. I love your food, but I got too much to do to be chatting. See you for lunch! I think this is yours. Thanks! With this ladle, I can make dreams come true. That's okay. Maybe you can help me. Do you have the keys to the dressing room? I can't seem to find my keys right now. Isn't that what it's about, pal? Yeah, thanks. Finally finished what I started. Good morning, Major. Anything to report? No, sir. Nothing to report. Everything according to the regulations? According to the standard Century Ordinance, sir. Yes, of course. I was just asking if any vehicles left the base. Yes, sir. Three trucks. Who ordered that? On Major Stewart's orders. By the way, have you seen Major Stewart today? Yes, sir. He's already at work. Good. Thanks, soldier. I wish you well. Thank you, sir. Got a pass? Nope. Sorry. I think this is yours. I'm looking for Colonel Williams. Can you tell me where I can find him? He's in his office, in the administration building. I can't find my pass card. Could you lend me yours? Well, of course.
got a pass? Good day to you, sir. Yes, sir. Were there any calls to the Colonel? I haven't connected anyone to the Colonel today, sir. By the way, my phone's not working right. Your telephone, sir? Yeah. The whole day I have to listen to the Secretary's phone calls. Can you do something? Sir, I'll look into this right away. I could do something good with that. Damn, I left Tom's phone number at my apartment. Files as far as the eye can see. Files as far as the eye can see. Some kind of technical documentation. Important telephone numbers. Files as far as the eye can see. A bookcase full of phone books. Case full of phone books. Bad idea. That won't amount to anything. I could do something good with that. phone number. Bad idea. Rogers, hello. It's Max. Max, I'm glad you called. I'd be happy if I were you. How's business? Everything's going well. That's why I'm calling. I'm all ears. Come to the base and pick up your share. With pleasure. I just finished up with the burglar. Don't forget the briefcase. Don't worry, I've got it. I'll be right there. Greetings, colleague. How can I help? I want to see Colonel Williams in an official capacity. The Colonel is very busy. Then interrupt this coffee break and take me to him. Don't forget your manners. Keep it down. Is this a hospital or the commander's office? 
Yes, the general doesn't like it when someone interrupts him. General? We have a visit from the general staff. The general himself is here, so please don't interrupt. But I have to... No buts. Please leave. Hello, Major. Hmm, I'm afraid I've forgotten your name. Doesn't matter. Tell Major Stewart there's been a break-in. Break-in? What break-in? What are you talking about, Major? An unauthorized person broke into warehouse number two. Break-in? Oh, that's impossible. The base is heavily guarded, Major. You don't believe me? Then go see for yourself. Please, don't get excited, sir. I'll call Major Stewart right away. Hello, Major Stewart. Good day, sir. This is Julia Hanks. We have a small problem. What's happened, Miss Hanks? Someone just reported a break-in in the warehouse. In which warehouse? One with weapons? No, sir. Warehouse number two. Will you be taking care of it, sir? Naturally. I'll just finish up what I'm working on and start immediately. Thank you, Miss Hanks. Goodbye. Goodbye, Major. Introductions later. I've got something important to tell you. Mister, I don't speak to strangers. Well, then you'll just have to change your habits. Who do you think you are? Is that any way to speak to a high-ranking officer? I don't have time for polite niceties. It's a matter of life and death. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Jack Orlando, private detective. But we shouldn't waste any time on trivial details. That's no small matter, Mr. Orlando. And where on earth did you get this uniform? I had to take it out of the supply depot. You broke into the depot? I'm calling the sentry. At least I only took the uniform. I don't understand. Let me explain. How long do you know Major Stewart? Long enough. I still don't understand. Let me lay the cards out. Well, finally. No doubt you heard about the murder of Pete Reynolds. Of course. He was a colleague of mine. What are you getting at? I'll explain everything in a minute. I fell into this whole thing by coincidence. And all trails lead here. Could you be a little more clear? Of course, you're aware of the term fraud. Naturally. But what's this about? A few trucks left the base last night loaded with weapons. Can you repeat that? I think I've misheard you. That ain't necessary. You heard right. You're crazy, Orlando. Sorry to say, I'm not crazy. These are facts, and behind the facts are concrete names. For example, Major Pete Reynolds. It's damn easy to accuse a dead man. But Major Stewart is in excellent health. What are you implying? How dare you? I can understand your reaction. I figured you'd act like that. Well, after all, you are a detective. That's right. So let me repeat, last night, Stewart sold weapons to a certain Scaletti. My patience is at an end, Orlando. I think the documents which I'll now show you should be of interest to you. Unbelievable. My God. I can't believe my eyes. Hello, switchboard. Give me the officer on duty, now. Send over two armed soldiers. We have to arrest Major Stewart. No. You heard right. Yes, right away. I'm waiting. Well, look here, Max. Who have we got there? What a nice rendezvous. All here. I didn't know you made it to Major Jack. Well, everything changes. I also didn't know that you're now worth $500. More. 
much more. That was just a down payment. Stewart, how could you? Major Stewart. Not anymore. You'll be convicted and demoted. I doubt it. There are no witnesses, so there's no crime. I don't understand. They're probably going to kill us. Well, hey, that was another classic example of faulty detective work. Faulty? Of course we're going to kill the colonel, and you'll get a hard blow to the head, and they'll find your fingerprints on the murderer, and the police will take you in as the murderer. The colonel gets buried with full honors, and I spend the rest of my life behind bars. Isn't the plan fantastic? Come on, tell me, Jack. Gotta hand it to you. Your trick with the telephone was good. But two can play at that game. You mean to say that Stuart called later and... And I understood everything. As you can see, your situation is more than hopeless. Major Stuart! I'm listening, Colonel. Is it true that Pete was involved in this? He couldn't decide. Well, now he has plenty of time to think about it. You lowlife! You goddamn swindler! You'll pay for this. Don't get so excited, Colonel, or you'll start to perspire. Listen, Tom. Did you order Bellinger's murder? You're getting more and more talkative in your old age, Jack. You got any last wishes, Colonel? A cigarette, perhaps? You know I don't smoke, Stuart. I promise you that you won't die of lung cancer. You can never be too careful, Stuart. Nobody move, or I'll shoot! Everybody put your hands up! It's about time. Sorry, Colonel. We were busy with the break-in at warehouse number two. He's the robber! You have anything to say, Stuart? Nice sight, isn't it, Colonel? <laughs> sure is. I especially like the dumb looks on their faces. Their mugs sure are amusing. Just like I said, Stuart, you can't be too careful. Everything changes, Colonel. Everything. Speaking of changes, please forgive the... Don't mention it, Colonel. Good work. If you were a soldier, I'd give you a medal. Hmm. I've already got the uniform. <laughs> I like that. Consider it a present. Thanks. It'll remind me of a good end to a good case. I want to once again thank you. Mr. Orlando? Yeah, Colonel. I'm heavily in your debt. Don't mention it, Colonel. I know. I'd like to invite you to dinner at my place. How about Saturday? It'd be an honor. The honor is all mine. By the way, do you like fish? Very much so. I'd sell my hat for a good salmon. Then I know what I'll cook. I'm looking forward to your visit. Oh, I nearly forgot. Give the Chief Inspector a call. The Chief Inspector? Yeah. And Dallamy should come to the base. And get Elizabeth from my apartment. Elizabeth? Who is Elizabeth? That's the gal who helped me get this whole thing wrapped up. Of course. I'll call him right away. And don't forget about dinner on Saturday night. That was good work, Mr. Orlando. You've done fantastic work, Mr. Orlando. Two birds with one stone. Three. Don't forget about Scaletti. Judge Tate will have a whole lot to do, all right. Congratulations, son. Judge, brilliant. It's finally over. You could finally invite me for a cup of coffee. With pleasure. I'll even make it myself. Oh, I just remembered. I don't have any coffee. I know. We'll go to my place. Just so there's no misunderstanding, you sleep on the couch. Yeah, of course. 